Hi, I'm Marty Nimco. We're all aware that people vary on all manner of attributes, from height to political predisposition. An under-considered continuum is vigilance. Some people are hyper-aware of all new input. Other people are blissfully blind. Well, here is a portrait of a high-vigilance person, and then a portrait of a low-vigilance person. He's aware of every bodily sensation, and if it's of ambiguous origin, he directs his high vigilance to picking the worst-case yet realistic cause. What's the risk-reward of going to the doctor now? How long should I wait? Even when fully immersed in his work, he notices what's going on around him, <clears throat> what others are saying, what's popping up on his second screen, and any of the aforementioned sensations. You would think that omnidirectional vigilance would make him a poor listener, but in fact he's excellent, listening carefully to what's said and how, simultaneously able to think ahead to what he wants to say and ask. He considers his high vigilance a mixed blessing. On one hand, it enables him to get a lot done and avoid problems. On the other hand, he's not happy about the stress of ever being on high alert. Now, here is a profile of a low vigilance person. It's not surprising that she's a meditator and does yoga. She finds it easy to be fully present in the moment. Little distracts her. She exudes calm. While she doesn't consider ignorance bliss, her default is to avoid overstimulation and so, is pay it, so she pays attention only to the quite significant. For example, she reads the headlines and focuses on what's pleasant and if it's unpleasant, tends to read only if she might want to do something about it. She can immerse herself in a novel or Netflix for hours with few other thoughts intruding. She eats healthily but doesn't go overboard. She's not the type to be so vigilant that she's going to read nutritional labels. She knows that frozen broccoli is better than canned chili and that's enough for her. She's a basically happy and relaxed person. Where are you on the vigilance continuum, and are you happy there? Do you care to move either way along that continuum? Some people like being where they are. For example, a high vigilance client said, I feel alive being so vigilant, and it improves my success and keeps me out of trouble. It's worth the added stress. On the other hand, another client who is happy being low vigilant said, I'm grateful to be able to go through life peacefully. Other people are not happy where they are and would like to move one way or the other on the vigilance continuum. If so, might it be worth trying to make that a new habit? This may help. Let's say you want to become more vigilant. And let's say you want to become more vigilant overall. Should you write the word vigilant on your palm and until it becomes habit, looking at it every time before you drink something? Perhaps, though, you might want to be more vigilant only when doing certain activities. For example, while walking down a dark street, when you're at a meeting at work, or you're listening to your partner. If so, you might write those activities on your palm, dark, meeting, partner. But now let's say you want to become less vigilant, less on alert. You might want to re write a reminder on your palm as well. It might be the obvious such as relax, but one of my clients wrote, it's okay. If you want to be less vigilant in particular circumstances, you might write those, for example, at home, playing ball, or bedtime. Hearing about vigilance might help you appreciate where you are on the continuum, but if not, it's likely that vigilance is one of the more malleable attributes. Maybe writing a word or three on your palm could be an effective self-help approach to changing and becoming happier and maybe even more successful. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like you to hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.